So you've been dreaming about sea glass lately, and now you're ready to become a sea glass hunter. Well, it's easier than you might think. It's good to prepare for every adventure with a nice meal. And you're ready for anything on your journey by staying in good shape. The most important thing to know isn't necessarily what to bring, but where to go. Rare sea glass is almost impossible to find on popular tourist beaches. Often to find it, one must take the roads less traveled. It's important to research where a great spot is. Check out old maps and local museums to find where ocean dump sites once were. Or a friend or local that has lived in the area for a long time you might remember it as a kid. Once you find out where to go, sometimes the hardest part can be getting there. Always remember safety third and plan accordingly. Bring lots of water, don't forget sunscreen. Bring bags for your sea glass and for trash too. Some places can only be accessed by swimming and some you even need a little boat. But with a little imagination, you can sail anything to anywhere. But be careful and always hunt with a friend. Once you make it to your spot, take a second to get a view of your surroundings. Don't lose track of your things and don't let your boat get away from you. Remember to pick up some trash too. Now it's time to explore. Remember not to stay in one area for too long. Instead, explore the beach and find the best spots. It's important to know what to look for as well. You could spend all day picking up green, brown, and white sea glass, but it could be a lot more fun to hunt for the rare pieces like blue, yellow, purple, turquoise, reds, and even the rarest of all, orange sea glass. These pieces aren't as easy to find, but the feeling of discovering these treasures makes it all worth it. Sometimes you can even find sea marbles and sea stoppers too. Don't forget to stop every once in a while and take a little break. And cool down with a refreshing swim in the water. And with a little bit of luck and a little bit of hard work, you will find a one-of-a-kind piece that is truly amazing that you will treasure for the rest of your life. But beware, you might get addicted before you know it. Make sure to bring back with you what you brought in and always take some trash with you. After a long day of beachcombing, it's nice to shake off the sand and share your finds with your friends. So get out there and start your collection today. Happy hunting, everyone. <laughs>